All right, look. Another Caleb Williams, Justin Fields, Chicago Bears draft video. I'm getting annoyed. The Bears are getting on my damn nerves. Like, I... The Bears are getting on my nerves. Can we just trade Justin Fields to get this over with? Y'all know y'all trading Justin Fields. You know you're taking Caleb Williams number one. Can y'all just get this over with? This is a slow burn. Justin Fields is not this good. Like, he, Justin Fields is not like that. He's like one of the worst fourth quarter quarterbacks I've ever seen in my life. Did you not see the Detroit game? <laughs> I mean, like, come on, bro. Like, this dude is a walking fuck up in the fourth quarter. Like, enough is enough. I'm sick of the Justin Fields shit. The dude can't play from behind. The minute he's trailing, he turned into Jamarcus Russell. The nigga turned into a black Tim Tebow the minute he started trailing. He's not a good thrower of the football. He's not like that. Dude won, like, what, eight games in four seasons? Like, come on, he's a loser. Like, enough is enough. Can we please stop the cap and stop making Justin Fields out to be nice? I love how when the media likes you, when people like you, they tend to big you up. People think Justin Fields is good because he, because of his stand, fantasy fat line, stat lines. Yeah, he might be a high fantasy football, but he's not like that. He really not like that. And, and, and I know, and I know for a fact, that Bears fans want Kayla Williams. I, I don't see a lot of Bears fans caper for Justin Fields. Most Bear fans want Caleb Williams. They want to start over and they want uh they want a new regime. Like at the end of the day, not only are you stupid for not trading Caleb Williams, but now you gotta pay Caleb Williams. So instead of having not Caleb Williams uh, Justin Fields. So instead of having Caleb Williams on a rookie contract for the next five seasons, you're gonna have Justin Fields make a forty plus. So like, come on, man. What do you, what do you, what is there to talk about? What is there to contest? Justin Fields forty plus, Caleb Williams rookie contract. What are we talking about? Hey, yo, you want to fuck Monique or you want to fuck Holly Berry? What you want to do? <laughs> like, well, come on, bro. Go take a Holly Berry. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm done with the more meat. Like, come on, man. Enough is enough. Let me tell you something. Kayla Williams, number one overall pick to the Bears. Jaden Daniels is going to uh, that team in Washington, the Cockroaches. Drake May will be a Patriot. That's the top three. Marvin Harrison. He's going to Arizona, and I don't know what the hell Tennessee going to do. I mean, the Chargers going to do. I don't know what the hell they're going to do. But I know Neighbors is probably going to the Giants. Either all or Neighbors is going to the Giants, and that's pretty much the top six picks. And I only know that because I'm a Giants fan, and I'm looking forward to the six picks, so that's normally where I stop at. But I don't see a world where – I don't see a world where the Bears don't take Caleb Williams. I can't picture that. I can't picture them selling that to their fans. I can't picture them selling 40-something million dollars a year to Justin Fields instead of Caleb Williams because the alternative is Caleb Williams goes to whoever you draft, okay, whoever you trade for in the draft. That could be the Giants, the Falcons, the Vikings, whoever. He goes to a team. Caleb Williams goes to a team, and he is Mahomes. So now you passed on Mahomes again. Like, the Bears can't have that much blood on their hands. They passed on Mahomes. They traded the C.J. Stroud pick. At some point, the Bears have to get their quarterback. They passed on Stroud. They passed on Mahomes. Y'all can't keep passing on these light-skinned niggas, man. Now, as a love, there's another light-skinned nigga from Cali right now. He coming into the draft. I'm going to advise you Chicago front office execs to not pass on this light skin dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to regret it. But all in all, fellas, they're going to trade Justin Fields. They're going to take Caleb number one. And I really don't think, I really just think this whole situation is being blown out of proportion. Justin Fields is a loser. And most executives know he's a loser. And I think what's going on, fellas, is they want 
X amount of compensation for Justin Fields, but his his value around the league isn't as high as what the Bears deem his value to be. If y'all get if that makes sense to y'all, so the Bears think he's one thing, but everybody else around the league thinks he's another, and because everybody around the league knows the Bears are going to draft Caleb Williams or they want to draft Caleb Williams. Everybody's low balling to get Justin Fields. That's just how the, that's just how the game is played. That's just how the game is played, fellas. They're gonna low ball for Justin Fields because they know the Bears want to get rid of him. There's nothing the Bears can say to big up Justin Fields that are gonna make people believe they won't draft Caleb Williams. So they're probably not even gonna get a first for Justin Fields. They're probably gonna get a conditional first. Remember when Carson Wentz got traded to Indy? It was a conditional first based on his playing time. He had to play a certain amount of games to, for, for it to become a first. They might do something like that with Justin Fields where he has to win a certain amount of games for it to become a first. I don't know. But you can't give up a first-round pick and then give a guy 40 something million dollars. That's ludicrous. That's insanity. I'm not giving up a first-round pick to then have to pay a player 40 something million dollars like I'm not going to do that I'm going to make him earn it I'm going to keep him hungry I'm going to make him ingratiate himself with the franchise and the community and then we could talk about 40 something million dollars I'm not about to pay a dude who I trade for I'm not about to trade a first round pick and then pay a dude who I don't know what he's like for real because I've never really been around him outside of meetings I don't know if he's a true leader I don't know if he's a hard worker and I don't know if he even fits the offense of the system I'm trying to run. It's too many liabilities in giving up a high pick for, for, for Justin Fields. It's too many variables that go into that. Like It'd be one thing if Justin Fields is in like year two and you had control over his destiny. But at this point in Justin Fields' career, if you trade for Justin Fields, you have to pay him. And once you pay him, you're committing to him for the future. And who the hell wants to do that? Straight up and down. But anyway, fellas. Did I cover everything? Um, yeah, yeah, that covers everything. I, I don't, cause I think Washington trying to trade up to number one is bullshit. I think Washington's cool with Jaden Daniels. I, I don't think this whole notion that Washington might offer a king's ransom for the, I don't believe it. But anyway, I ain't got nothing else to say. That's it. That's all. Throw those fu's in my chat if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.